Today, I'm going to show you that five ingredient banana pudding recipe that anyone can make. This is so easy and so good. Here we go. So I'm working with a large bowl to create the pudding for this, which is instant jello pudding. I'm using the banana cream. You can use vanilla. I have two large bananas that I'll be using. I'm also going to use around eight ounces of the whipped topping Cool Whip. You can make your own heavy cream and make your own whipped cream. That works as well, but this is the easy part. So I'm starting with three cups of cold whole milk. You could do 2%. That also works for the instant pudding. By the way, that fifth ingredient, I'm using Nilla wafers. You could also swap these out with the butter cookies, those Chessman butter cookies. I do that as well. Okay. So I'm going in with my package. This is a five point something ounce package of banana cream instant pudding. And I'm just going to whisk this. You don't have to completely whisk it until it is extra thick. It makes it a lot easier to pour over vanilla wafers and bananas if it's a little runnier. Okay, so in a nine by 13 baking dish, or you could use a whatever container or baking pan you have, I am going to prep the banana. I like to take off the stringy bits. And you can use around three to four medium bananas for this. I just had two large bananas, so I'm gonna make it work. So I'm gonna add one layer to the bottom of the cookies or the Nilla wafers and just sort of arrange them in a single layer at the bottom of the baking dish. Now I'm just going to slice in my bananas just all over. So this easy banana pudding I'm sure all of you have made this or have tried it. This is one of my favorite no-bake desserts to take to like a barbecue cookout, a carne asada. <laughs> it's so easy to travel with and make the day before. So I'm going to use a little bit of the second banana for this first layer just to evenly distribute the banana. And I'm just going to slice just a little bit more on this first layer. And now I'm going to pour over the pudding. And there are so many great homemade from scratch recipes for banana pudding, but I always just opt for this easier version, especially if I have other things to cook. I love to make this the night before. It's so great the next day. This is a great like ice box, no bake dessert to keep in your back pocket when you have guests over or you want to take a dessert to someone's house. So I'm going to layer the rest of the cookies. By the way, I'm using an 11 ounce box of vanilla wafers. You might want to use more if you have a second box. I'm Again, I'm just making it work with one. So now I'm gonna slice the rest of the bananas and arrange them on top of the second layer of cookies. And now for the whipped topping. Again, if you have like three cups of heavy whipping cream and you have some powdered sugar, you can make your own whipped cream. But I'm doing easy peasy today. So I'm gonna spread that all over the top. You wanna make sure you cover all of the bananas because they will oxidize if you don't. So make sure you cover everything well. Now I'm going to take some of the cookies I've reserved, like five to six, and you crush them up and that's the garnish. And technically this is the dessert. So I'm just going to sprinkle this all over the top and ta-da, you have dessert. Now you do want to make this ahead of time to sort of let the, the layers of cookies soften a bit. So a couple of hours in the refrigerator, minimum overnight for best results. So you spread on your garnish. Then I'm going to cover with cling film and I'm just gonna put it in the refrigerator. Like I said, minimum two to three hours overnight for best results. Okay. Okay, so it has been three hours. I'm gonna serve this. Everyone wants to try it. And like I said, this is great the next day. Make it ahead of time before your next barbecue. You won't be disappointed. Now, another great idea for these is to do these in individual like cups or jars. You can totally do that with the ratios of these ingredients. You probably could get somewhere between... 10 to 12 small jars of this banana pudding. If you do this for like parties or things like that, it really does come together quite nicely. It's such an easy recipe. So this is a great summer no-bake dessert. I'm going in for a bite and I know it's gonna be good. I hope you give this recipe a try. 
I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.